Hello everyone. I have decided it is time to get back on Jericho. I've missed him a lot, but I've just been really nervous to handle him. But he's my horse and I have to take responsibility for him. And sometimes that means doing things I don't want to do. I finally plucked up the courage this morning. It was raining as per usual. Honestly, you would not know that McFarlane Ranch was in New Austin with all the rain we get. Admittedly, I did pick a bad day to ride Jericho for the first time. Not only was it raining, but most ranch hands were out herding horses and Queasy was off on a secret trip. She wouldn't tell me where she was going or what she was doing. I decided to put him in a standard English bridle instead of his normal western gear. If you are wondering, the bridle is from Tack World and the saddle is from the ranch collection by Howers. I was totally not stalling by grooming out his coat. But seriously, I might as well have gotten a grey horse with the way he seems to absorb the dust on this ranch. The grooming turned out to be quite therapeutic and I think it helped to calm my nerves quite a lot. Jericho was being really forgiving today as usually he's really affected by the way people feel when they're around him and even though I was quite stressed, he forgave that and stayed really relaxed which helped a lot. After I mounted, I let him stand and just let us get used to each other again. Bear in mind, he hasn't been ridden for almost a week and a half now, and the last time he was ridden, he bucked me off. I knew we had to take today very slowly for both of our sakes. We walked a little bit and he was really focused and calm, so I sort of relaxed a little bit more. He was listening to me really well. And even though the arena was wet and the sun was bouncing off the ground and practically blinding us both, he was really listening to me. There were a couple of head tossings in this session, but I knew he was just checking stuff out and being his usual self. Even though he wasn't an absolute angel, it still felt really good that I always knew that any bad habits he had were just him being a little cheeky and not actually being mean or malicious. I seem to have caught him on a good day. Then again, as I'm thinking about it, maybe what Jericho needed was just a little break. We had been doing so much training and adventuring that perhaps he just wanted some time in the paddock to chill before getting back to work. After a thorough and slow warm up, I felt confident enough to ask for a trot. He took a little extra encouragement and a bit of head shaking, but he transitioned very smoothly. As you can see, he's really focused and has his ears forward. And even though he checks me out here, he continued on just as I asked. I actually needed a little time to get used to his rhythm again. And even when I got a couple of his strides wrong, he was super good and kept his stride and balance. I did get even more bold in this lesson, which you will see in the montage. Yo, yo, I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it, fuse like a magnet Lose, won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rice in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back I'm never gonna look back Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes I was really, really happy with the progress and called it a day quite early to let us both process stuff and I also did not want to jinx myself. I am over the moon with Jericho. I'm just so lucky to have a horse like him, even if he is a complete wally sometimes. I feel like this hurdle was something we got over together and I felt closer to him for that. I love him to absolute pieces. 
I thought that was a good day, but today was even better. I was out by the tack room when Queasy sprinted up to me and instructed me to follow her. Now, spoiler alert, this is actually tied to her secret trip. I was very suspicious when she went into the arena by the stables. She told me to, quote, stare into this bucket as if it holds the secrets to the universe. And I'm a complete pushover, so that's exactly what I did. For all I knew, she could have been taking the mick and left me there looking insane, but thankfully, it was worth it. Da -da 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 -da. Meet Gizmo! Queasy's trip was actually to go see and try out her new project horse. He is a purebred Northfolk Roadster who is only five years old. Queasy purchased him from Emerald Ranch in Heartland and he has been hiding in his stall since she got back last night. She wanted to surprise me with him as well as have his first in-house ride while being watched for safety which is 100% what I should have done yesterday. Please don't tell Queasy. She told me that she has been trying out horses for a while and she felt a real spark when her and Gizmo did some flat work at Emerald Ranch and finally made a purchase. He actually has a cross country prospect and I am so excited to see them train together and maybe me and Jericho can tag along too. I'm really happy for her. I sat by the fence and watched her work with him. The footage isn't great because it's really dusty, but I really wanted you to see him in action because he is so stunning. a new addition to our family and I'm ready to start really working with Jericho again plus it will be super fun if Queasy decides to follow Gizmo on his cross-country prospect and I really think me and Jericho would benefit from branching out from flat work to doing some more jumping me and him are definitely on the mend so I hope you guys enjoyed stay positive and I'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.